From being Keanu's stunt double on The Matrix to making an immensely successful action film franchise himself, John Wick director Chad Stahelski's life story is pretty biopic worthy, I'd say. But despite where he stands today, he is still immensely grateful for The Matrix. The Hitman film series and The Matrix franchise have some interesting connections too. I'll get to that. First off, let's talk John Wick. This is a movie franchise that needs no introduction. It's the story of a retired hitman who is pulled back in into the world of assassination when a gang of thugs kill his dog and steal his car. The rest of the movie is a non-stop, action-packed thrill ride, as Wick takes on seemingly insurmountable odds to get his revenge. The first movie was released in 2014, and it quickly became a cult classic. The sequels, released in 2017 and 2019, were even more successful, grossing over $580 million worldwide. So why is John Wick so popular? Well, for starters, it's a damn good movie. The fight scenes are beautifully choreographed, the cinematography is stunning, and Keanu Reeves gives an incredible performance as the titular character. But there's more to it than that. It turns out that Reeves and Stahelski have a long history together. Different. Much different. Much different? We have a lot of new characters. New characters. New characters. New storyline. Of course, yeah. new set pieces, new action. But what's staying the same? John Wick. John Wick. Suffering. <laughs> fighting for freedom. Always. Dating back to The Matrix in 1999, where Stahelski served as Reeves' stunt double. In a recent interview with Wired, the two talked about the connection between the two franchises. I think when you when you get to revisit a story and can tell, continue to tell a story, you, you're bringing in the past and the work that you've done. And so for me, it's just kind of placing the emotional state of where you are, who the character is. Stahelski even made a cameo in The Matrix Resurrections, though he jokingly called it tragic after a not-so-great single-day shoot. Imagine getting a call from a Hollywood big shot like Lana Wachowski, asking you to be a part of her latest movie. That's what happened to director Chad, who couldn't believe his luck. At first, he thought she was joking when she said she wanted to put everyone in the film. But when he saw his name on the pages, he was blown away. Even though he was busy, he knew he could not say no. You see, Stahelski owes everything to Keanu Reeves and Lana Wachowski, who gave him his big break in The Matrix. That's why he's fiercely loyal and would do anything for them, even if it means sweeping the floor. It's also why he thinks his performance was tragic, because he owes so much more than he can ever deliver to the Wachowskis. Reeves, however, played down Stahelski's account and said that he and Resurrections director Lana Wachowski thought his performance went super well. The interviewer then asked if there was a connection between John Wick and The Matrix. So, is there one? Reeves didn't really compare the two franchises directly, but he did praise them both for their originality. According to him, if we're gonna compare them, they both were original ideas with visionary filmmakers. Dahelski, on the other hand, saw more similarities between the two franchises, and he was extremely open to talking about them as well. What a nice guy. He mentioned working under the Wachowskis for multiple years, and explained how closely connected the John Wick films are to the Matrix franchise. He goes as far as to say, that the John Wicks are definitely children of the Matrix. But that can't just be it, right? Well, of course it's not. After all, it's not just the people behind the camera who have connections between the two franchises. There are numerous allusions, Easter eggs, and callbacks to the Matrix in all three John Wick films. For instance, in the Assassin franchise, Keanu Reeves and Lawrence Fishburne again after the pair previously teamed up as Neo and Morpheus in the Matrix films. And in Chapter 3 Parabellum, Randall Duck Kim makes an appearance as the Doctor, an actor who previously assisted Neo in the Wachowski saga as the Keymaker. It's not just the cast that has connections to The Matrix either. Chapter 2 features a pretty subtle callback to the sci-fi franchise. In the film's climactic scene, as Ian McShane's character Winston takes a call, the bustling crowd around them in Central Park stops moving. This scene reminded me of a part in The Matrix where Morpheus takes Neo through a crowd sim to demonstrate how much of a risk it was going to be to deal with agents. As as Reeves's character gets sidetracked by a woman wearing a red dress, Morpheus freezes the crowd. And let's not forget that iconic line that Reeves delivers in both franchises. Guns. Lots of guns. Guns. Lots of guns. Neo. No one has ever done anything like this. 
That's why it's going to work. He first said it in The Matrix when preparing to rescue Morpheus from Agent Smith, and then repeated it in Parabellum, when the Continental Hotel is under siege and he's gearing up to defend it. Guns. Lots of guns. With a fourth John Wick film dropping soon, and perhaps a fifth already in the works, I'm all geared up like a detective with a magnifying glass and a notepad and all, to spot each and every Matrix reference in any of these future John Wicks. But apart from all this, we can still take the liberty of drawing a few parallels between the two franchises. For instance, working in The Matrix must have had a huge influence on Stahelski's approach to action scenes. In The Matrix, the fight scenes were meticulously planned out and choreographed, with each move and shot carefully considered. This was a departure from the more chaotic, ad-libbed fight scenes that had been popular up until that point. Dahelski probably took what he learned from the Matrix movies and applied it to John Wick, resulting in some of the most breathtaking action scenes in recent memory. Though it's not just the action scenes that owe their success to The Matrix, The Matrix also introduced the world to Keanu Reeves as an action star. Before The Matrix, Reeves was primarily known for his work in dramas and comedies. There's Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and also My Own Private Idaho comes to mind. The former is a comedy about two time-traveling bro dudes, and the latter is a drama about two Keanu being River Phoenix's roommate. You know what I mean. But after The Matrix, he became a bona fide action hero, and his star power only grew with each subsequent Matrix movie. This paved the way for his role in John Wick, which is now hailed as one of the best action performances of all time. Without The Matrix, it's entirely possible that John Wick would have starred someone else entirely and it's unlikely that the franchise would be as successful as it is today. On that note, on top of being a franchise that jump-started Keanu's action career, The Matrix also went on to establish a universe of its own. One of the things that made The Matrix franchise so successful was its attention to world-building. The films created a complex and immersive universe that spanned multiple movies, animated shorts, and video games. This level of detail helped make The Matrix universe feel more real and tangible, which made audiences is more invested in the characters and their struggles. This approach to world building had a big influence on the John Wick series as well. Like The Matrix, John Wick is set in a complex and immersive world, where the criminal underworld operates according to its own rules and codes of conduct. Each movie in the series has added new layers to this world, including the introduction of new characters, organizations, and locations. This attention to detail has helped make the John Wick series more than just a simple action movie. It's a fully realized world that audiences can get lost in. This helped make John Wick stand out from other action movies and has contributed to its enduring popularity. So, in a way, we have the Matrix franchise to thank for the immersive and detailed world of John Wick. Without the Matrix's groundbreaking impact on cinema, it's possible that John Wick might not be as popular or beloved as it is today. And that's why John Wick's director is so grateful for the Matrix. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.